right, here it is, part five, the final boss, my party people. We're looking at solving multi-step equations with the nastiness thrown at you here. So we've got parentheses, we've got variables on both sides, we've got simplification that's needed. There's a lot going on here. But the thing is, with everything that you've learned from parts one, two, three, and four, hopefully you've watched those videos and put in that work to practice, because what we're gonna do now is we are going to learn how to bring it all together. That's all we're doing. So let's take it one step at a time, one variable at a time, one value at a time will be fine. And then we'll speed up that process as we go along. So I'll go ahead and get five of these done for us and then we'll move forward from there. So just observe first. Don't just dive in without knowing what you're actually doing. The goal here is to solve for M and we have M here, there, there, and there. So we're gonna have to go ahead here and get rid of this parentheses by distributing that negative three, get rid of this parentheses by distributing the negative two, Okay, not just the two, the negative two. And then we can combine these terms over here and we'll be fine. So let's get to work here. We have negative three times positive nine M. Negative three times nine is negative 27 M. Next up, we've got ourselves negative three times negative four, which is a positive 12. Up next, remember, we are distributing the entirety of that negative two. So negative two times negative six, that's a positive 12. Then we've got ourselves negative two times negative eight M, positive 16 M. Notice how I'm taking it nice and slow here, nice and slow. And over here, we can combine those two terms because they are like terms. M minus eight M or one minus eight is negative seven. And so we'll have negative seven M on the right side. So now that we are looking at this, notice how this becomes a lot easier now that we've actually started by simplifying and distributing. So here, let's go ahead now and combine like terms again, because we have negative 27m plus 16m. So negative 27 plus 16, that's gonna be negative 11. So we have ourselves over here, negative 11m, and over here we have positive 12 plus 12, which gives us a positive 24. On the right side, what do we have? We still have that negative 7m. So again, check it out, my party people, look. This can be turned, this craziness can be turned into something very, very manageable. So I wanted to show you that. So again, it's all about taking it one step at a time. So here, what we're gonna do is, I'll just move that 11M over. And remember, we do that by doing the opposite operation. Since we're subtracting 11M, I will go ahead and add 11M to both sides. Once we do that, this is gonna cancel out on the left side, giving us 24, equals positive 4m. And then our last step from here, divide both sides by four, and we are good. Booyah, we have m equals six, and we are set. So there's the answer right there, it's a, and we're good. So hopefully you were able to understand that, look, everything after this first step of distributing everything, we've done this already, we have been doing this. And so this is all just bringing everything we've been doing together to solve seemingly complex equations. So let's go ahead and get into number 82 here. Let's keep the job going. Hey, hey, learn more about how you can get all of my classes, all of my practice problems with video solutions, and all of my study guides, practice tests, flashcard sets. Oh, and by the way, the ability to text me whenever you need help. Go ahead and learn about my ASVAB All Access program. Click the link in the description here or shoot me a text at 567-698-8867 to learn more about it. Again, I'm Coach Anderson. Let's learn more and let's taste the ASVAB. So distribute that four into both of these terms. And on this side, we can distribute the six to both of these terms. Nice and easy. So let's get to work here. We have four times one, which is four. And then four times two X which is going to be 8x. On the right side, what do we have? We have 6 times 8, which is going to be 48. And then we have 6 times negative 6, which is negative 36x. Okay, cool. We've seen this before. You know how to solve this. Let's go ahead and get to work here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 36x to both sides. I'm going to add that 36x. And if you want to, you can add the 36x and subtract the four on both sides at the same time, but I'm just showing you one step at a time. So from here, we'll have four plus 44x equals 48. 
And now what we'll do is we'll subtract four from both sides. And once we do that, Booyah will go ahead and cancel right there, giving us 44x equals 44. Our last step, we'll divide both sides by 44, and we are good. X equals 44 divided by itself, which is one. So again, you know, after we hit that first step, I sped up the process because really, we're good. There's nothing really to worry about. We're all set. So let's take it over here to number 83. And then from there, I'll do 84 and I'll let you do the rest. So here you go, 83. We've got ourselves two parentheses here that we're gonna have to take care of. So we'll distribute that negative 10 to the n and the negative 10 to the negative one. So negative 10 times n, that's gonna give us negative 10n. Then negative 10 times one is gonna be a positive 10. From there, we're gonna distribute the negative five here. Remember, we are distributing the entire term with its sign. So negative five times two is negative 10. Negative five times n will give us negative five n. And on the right side, if you didn't notice already, we have a potential simplification. We have three n plus six n, and that will be nine n. So again, one step at a time, and we're good. And we are good. So from here, what I notice as well is that we can actually cancel out the positive 10 and the negative 10 because adding 10 and subtracting 10 cancels out. And also we can go ahead and bring together the negative 10 N minus five N, which is negative 15 N. And so we have the nine N on the right side. And if you check this out, really my party people, the only way that this can work out is if N is zero because 15 times zero is zero, nine times zero is zero, zero would be the answer. But to prove it, I'll go ahead and just move this over by adding 15n on both sides. And what we get when we do that is going to be 0 equals 24n. And so what we do as the last step is divide by 24, and we are done. 0 equals n. All right, so let's go and take care of one more here, my party people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got one more here. So over here, here's one thing that I notice. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you this. Look at how we're about to distribute a negative seven to both sides. Look at that. Remember in the previous video where I told you, hey, if you have the parentheses and then just the number in front of it on one side, if you can divide the other side by that number, do it. And what I notice is that we have the same negative seven on both sides. So instead of distributing it, what I'm instead gonna do is I'm gonna divide both sides. Let me go ahead and show you here. I'm gonna divide both sides by negative seven. If I divide both sides by negative seven, guess what happens? If I'm multiplying the entire side by negative seven and dividing it by negative seven, it cancels out. And so this is a really convenient problem because we don't have to take as many steps as we might think. And so now what we have is five n plus 10 equals 10n minus 5, the stuff that was left on the inside. And so from here, let's just solve as normal, and we're done. I believe the answer is going to be 3, if I'm not mistaken. So here, let's go ahead and subtract 5n on both sides. Cancels here, giving us 10 equals 5n minus 5. And then we'll go ahead and continue the process. Add 5 to both sides. Canceling here giving me 15 equals 5n, and then we divide both sides by 5, giving me n equals 3, right there. And we are all good, my party people. We're all good. And so that answer there was 3, it's C, and we're all set. And so, look, at the end of the day, my party people, what we need to make sure we know is that everything is a progression. We're going one step at a time here, one idea at a time. That way we can build that ultimate confidence and get away from memorizing problems and hoping for the best. And so, with that said, my party people, let's go ahead and move forward now to those worksheets so you can keep practicing here, and then from there, do those speed drills that, again, keep resetting new problems so you can get as much practice and build as much confidence as you can. I'm Coach Anderson. If you have any questions, let me know, because you know I got your back. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.